tell me, are you feeling frustrated with the quality of your watercolor paintings lately? Like, no matter how much you practice and try and improve, it's just not happening. I feel that way sometimes too, because being a beginner watercolor artist is hard. But not today. Today we're going to get it right. Hi, Sandy here, and today I'm sharing with you the most awesome, the most satisfying, and possibly the prettiest painting you have ever done. And I'll also be adding some very cool hacks to the mix that will save you time and make your painting skills go up like 100%, because I am all about working smarter, not harder. So, are you ready to paint the most awesome painting you've ever painted? Let's do this. Let's get straight to the first hack I have for you. Use the best possible watercolor paper you can. And for me, that's Arsh 100% cotton, 300 GSM, medium grain, cold pressed paper <laughs> in a glued block. I cannot stress this enough. Using this paper upped my watercolor game tenfold. And before I used Baohang, also 100% cotton paper, and I was very happy with it. It looked to me like great, affordable paper, and that's what I was going to use. And for a professional watercolor artist, I'm sure it's great. But for us, beginner watercolor artists, or hobbyists, or whatever you prefer to call yourself, we really do need all the help we can get. And this, let me tell you, was a game changer. I'm also using my Schminke Horadam watercolors because I really need my paints to be as transparent as they possibly can be. Uh, you know, this is all about subtlety today and these will do the trick. But go ahead and use whatever brand you prefer, you know, it's not like a, a deal breaker or anything. Any watercolor will do, but if you can, pick the one that's the most transparent, okay? Today, guys, we are painting some soap bubbles <laughs> or glass bubbles. I guess it can be both. We're talking about delicate colorful, transparent bubbles you never thought you could make because, let's face it, beginner watercolor artists aren't really known for their subtlety. I know I kind of paint like an elephant in a china shop sometimes, but not today. With some help, we can totally do subtle. Let me show you how. The first step is picking three thick rimmed jars or glasses from your kitchen. You know, any container will do really, as long as it is thick edged. And if you want more bubble sizes, just go ahead and get more. It's your painting after all. Let me show you my bubble templates. I have a glass, I have an espresso cup, and I have a candle holder. <laughs> and for now, this will do. So we want to form a puddle with the three primary colors, okay? We don't mix them, we just create that puddle with the colors together. So yellow, magenta, and blue. We need to keep in mind that we want a puddle that's large enough for the bigger rims, but also small enough for the little ones. So let's start with the yellow. We're going for, you know, a light-ish blue. We don't want it to be too dark. We don't want it to be too light either. For now, all we need to make sure is they don't touch because they will bleed and that there is enough water. Okay, and now our magenta. Let's start with the candle one. We just dip our rim, like so. We don't move it, okay? We don't want to mix the colors. And then, so we've pressed the rim onto the puddle, and then we press it onto our paper. And once it touches the paper, do not move it, okay? It stays where it lands, because we are essentially stamping our paper. So let's see. Oh, the blue did not show at all. Oh, let's see. What can we do? You can also do this if you feel like... This is dangerous territory, guys. Okay, that's better. Little splatters? I don't like, you know me and splatters. So we just go ahead and wet our brush and now we start taking color away. Lots of water, okay, we want it nice and transparent, so we just take the color away from the rim and just spread it onto our paper. So here's our blue. We want lots of water, lots of transparency. Now here the colors can mix at will. No problem about it. We also want to leave some white space, okay? You know, as we do for anything watercolor related. We just white space, 
is much needed. <laughs> so why does this hack make such a difference? Imagine you wanted this exact same effect without using this stamping method. You'd have to get your colors right, the water ratio right, then you would have to use the right amount of paint and water to get the right transparency. With this method, you draw the paint from the circle you stamped and you get to control how much or how little of it you take. And you can add more paint, of course. Let's see, for example, I think this blue needs a little bit of a reinforcement, you don't see it enough. You can just, you know, add more paint, you can blot out if you think, you know, any color is too strong, um, or if you feel the color isn't strong enough, you can add it. I mean, we know what a color dries lighter than what you see when it's wet, right? So this vibrancy you see right here isn't what's going to show once it's dry. Just letting you know. <laughs> we have painted the colors, we have left a couple of white spaces in our bubbles, and once and now we're happy with this one, so we just keep going. Like this. Yeah. And now we get it here. And we lift. The blue is not coming up at all. That's not really. Let's see how transparent we can make this look. Need to add some pure yellow here. This yellow is going on very orangey to me. I don't like that. And the blue needs to be stronger too. So I'll just go like that. Like I said, if you think this is too much and I am kind of wondering how this will dry, you can just go ahead, you tap, and there you go. Full control, the control is absolutely yours. You get to decide what you wanna do with this. So let's keep going, shall we? Here's another way to do it. You just paint on the colors you want. If this is easier for you, and uh, I totally get it if it is, just do it like that, and you're good to go. See, perfect. You can see all the three colors represented here. And now we draw some color.
this is what it looks like after it is slightly dried as i've told you it just gets much lighter right <laughs> you can totally see the difference already i think that this technique is better for me personally than uh having the paint on the dish well for one thing it doesn't mix which is very positive i can mix it if i want it but it doesn't have to mix and that allows me more control than this mess of paint I have here. Look, it's already mixed, so yeah. And as you can see, you can totally overlap them and they will look really, really cute. So as you can see, we can totally overlap them and look how cute this looks. So we're in the right track, guys. Let's keep going. Okay, guys, so this is looking really, really nice, but I think we need teeny tiny ones to complete the look. So let me pick a pen cap to do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe my Sharpie pen is nice and rough. Okay, so with the cap, we just use the different colors. And we just, yeah, this one was too much, no need for that. Let's do something about this one, just a second. Okay, that's better. That's the magic of watercolors, guys. You can always correct it as you prefer. But again, don't worry, this will dry really, really light, so it's okay. Okay guys, uh, now that we waited for it to dry, well we didn't wait for it to dry, we made it dry. <laughs> and this is our finished result. Yes, we could just keep going, you know, we could add lots of tiny bubbles, uh, you know, big bubbles, medium bubbles. It is your painting, you can do whatever you want. For me, this is really, really cool. Now, I'm thinking this may need a little splatter, but you know me, uh, you know, everything needs splatters as far as I'm concerned. What do you think? Maybe just a tiny bit, plus we've got, you know, all this paint here that's just going to waste. Hmm, let's do it. Just a teeny, tiny, teeny, 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 tiny little bit of splatters. Let's see if I don't ruin the whole thing. Ah, okay, yeah, I think this is what I had in mind. So I'm a little bit on this side. Okay, guys, <laughs> I could be here all day. <laughs> and here we have it, guys, our lovely, cute, awesome bubbles. How does it look? Easy peasy as promised, right? <laughs> Thank you for doing this with me. Give it a try. You will not regret it. It is so much fun and the outcome is awesome. I hope you had fun. I clearly had a blast and I'll see you really, really soon. Bye-bye.